Hello students, let us learn about hardware and software. Children, now you have understood that computer is an amazing machine that can do different types of jobs. It has different parts that work together to form a computer system. The two basic parts of a computer system are hardware and software. Who is he? He is Alan Turing. He is well known for his great contribution for modern computer and considered as father of modern computer. Let us first talk about the hardware. The physical parts of a computer which you can touch and see are called hardware. A human body consists of different parts. The outer parts of a body are visible, but the parts like brain, lungs, heart, etc., which are inside, cannot be seen. Similarly, in a computer, we can see the parts of the hardware that are outside. For example, monitor, keyboard, etc. They are attached to the CPU by cables. Some parts of hardware are inside the CPU. You can see them only when you open the body of a CPU box. For example, hard disk, CPU chips, etc. Hardware of a computer is further classified into three parts. Input, Output and Storage Devices. Let us talk about each of these in details. Input Devices Input devices are special types of hardware devices that are used to input words, numbers, sounds or pictures into a computer. That are called input devices, for example, keyboard, mouse, joystick, microphone, etc. Scanner A scanner copies a picture or text printed on a paper into the computer. Trackball it has a ball on its top. To move the pointer on the screen, roll the ball with your finger. Microphone Microphone input device is used to record our voice and other sounds into the computer. Light pen Light pen looks like a pen that can be used on a special pad. Whatever you write on this pad can be seen on the monitor. Joystick. Joystick is used for playing games. It helps to move the items on the screen. Web camera. It is primarily used to share pictures and have live chat with our friends and relatives using internet. Okay, let us have a quick quiz. Which part of our body acts as an input unit? Now we shall learn about the output device. The devices which display the information and results are called output devices. For example, monitor, printer, etc. Monitor Monitor looks like a TV screen. Whatever you type on the keyboard can be seen on the monitor. It also displays the processed information. Printer Printer prints the output which you see on the computer screen on paper. Speakers Speakers are used to hear music and sound stored in a computer. Time for the fact file. Lady Ada Lovelace is regarded as the first computer programmer. Alright, let me explain you storage devices. The devices which are used for storing data are called storage devices. Hard disk is the main storage device which stores all the work we do on a computer. Other important devices like CD, pen drive and DVD are also used to store information. CD CD stands for compact disk. It is a round, flat and shiny disk that stores a lot of information. Hard disk Hard disk is a device which stores huge amount of data and information. 
it is present inside the CPU box. Pen drive Pen drive is very small in size but can store and transfer data from one computer to another. It can easily be handled. Students, let me share an interesting fact. Intel is the world's largest processor company.